Hey McFly subscribers, I've got my reel here and that's because I'm going to trade out the line. What I'm getting today, what I'm showing you guys today, which just came in the mail, is a new fly line. They call it a Skagit line. Um, but basically, it's a shooting head line. That's kind of what it is. Uh, it allows you to just do one quick back cast and, whew, and you can get it out there, kind of almost like casting a spinning reel on a way. It, it really does launch uh, even big flies out really far. What I hear, it was created to allow you to cast long distances without anything behind you. So it, there's a certain kind of motion that you got to make to be able to get it out, right? It's almost kind of like spay casting in a way, but slightly different. Almost all of this I actually got from Amazon, but I did actually contact them about it. So they gave me some info, um, very good customer service, just great people there. They're all very nice. Uh, but I did contact them and ask them a few questions of what I needed with my rod. Starts off with a with what they call laser line. This is the running line. This is basically what you attach onto the backing. And this is super slick, um, moves through the water really quickly. There's really no drag with it. Uh, it does not have any memory. So you take this, you put a loop in it, okay? And then you attach loop to loop. Uh, you can tie it on too, I think. Uh, but loop to loop is probably the best. And yes, I already opened it. I want to check it out. Basically, you attach that onto the head. So this is a 225 grain, uh, I believe 13 foot head. They call this the commando head. So you tie, you know, attach it onto your uh, laser line, and this is basically what casts for you. It's 225 grain. That's what I got because I'm going to be using it with my six weight. It can also use with five weight. They said, um, you know, it just might load a little heavier. Uh, but they said a 225 is good for five or six weight, okay? Um, so that's that. And this is the running, uh, basically, this is the uh, the head of it. This is what gets you out there in distance. And then you can attach different tips. And yes, I did also open these. I was excited to check it out. But they're basically little sink tips um, or even float tips, okay? So it just gives you a little more. These are uh, the five foot. Now they, this I did not get on Amazon. Currently I couldn't find the five foot. They sell the 12 foot um, on Amazon. So I bought this on their website. The problem is when you buy it through the website, you pay shipping. So I, I think it was another like five bucks to buy this through the website. But they had highly recommended me getting the five foot sink tips uh, because they said it's kind of like training wheels for someone that has never used a Skagit line before. So I got two different sink tips, uh, the S2, uh, what they call the riffle, and it sinks one to two f uh, feet per second, I think. And then uh, I got an S6, so this sinks uh, five to six feet per second. They also make one in between that's a three to four foot, okay, uh, per second. Um, but both of these are five foot, and what's nice is, you might not be able to see with the camera, Excuse the train in the background. I've got uh, I live next to the train tracks, and about every 20 minutes a train goes by. Um, there's just no way of filming without that. So sorry, guys. From this point on, all my videos probably hear a train. Um, so this one is the S6. So I know um, it has little writing on there. It tells you uh, you know basically what it is, and you can go sh you know slower sink or faster sink. Uh, medium sink. Um, they even make floating heads, so you can actually throw out dry flies. They say with this. I don't know if I would dry fly fish with this. Um, it just doesn't. They said I've seen some videos of them doing it. Um, they said it it is enough of a finesse to do it. Uh, I I just don't see that. Maybe maybe it's possible. Uh, bigger dry flies. I don't know. Um, but for me. Um, probably not, but you know you can nymph, you can you know do all that. So there is uh, the ability. It's a it you know base. It, it's expensive, guys. I mean this whole set. I think it's fifty dollars for the commando line. Uh, the running line is thirty five dollars, and then each tip. Um, these are fifteen. If you get the the longer ones, uh, the the twelve foot uh, tips, then they're um, I think they're twenty two dollars each. So over you know it does. It does cost some money, but you've got one reel. All this is gonna go, all this is gonna go right on this reel, and that's it, okay? Um, it literally all fits on one reel, and then you've got multiple different lines. So you've got a floating, a sink tip, 
um, a five foot sink tip. You can get the the other ones to get a uh, twelve foot sink tip. You you know there's so many different things you can do with it, and all you do is you keep these two on, and you just trade out one of the the tips. So for now, all I've got is a sinking because I'm tr I'm changing this out basically. That's what I'm doing, kind of improving this uh, uh, Rio outbound short. It's also a great line, guys. Uh, but again, this will cost you seventy nine dollars, I think, it maybe eighty nine. It's pretty expensive. Um, so just for a little more, it does cost a bit. It's a hundred dollars, roughly, uh, maybe even more. Um, so I think uh, fifty five plus thirty five plus each of these were fifteen. Um, you know, I, I think I was around uh, hundred and hundred and fifteen or so. These two I got on Amazon, and you can also get the twelve foot sink tips um, and floating tips. On Amazon as well but if you want the shorter if you haven't ever Skagit Fitch before you have to get this on their website at least of now um, if they change that I'll let you guys know and show you where you can get it on Amazon uh, it's free shipping so it ends up being uh, cheaper when you get it on Amazon from most places so we've got a loop connection here already made how I had this set up And it's big enough to fit right over. Over the line, and there we go. It just pops right off that way. And I've got a little rubber band at the bottom of this, because so I've done this before. And this is the front of the line. You want to always put the front of the line on. There we go. So now this is ready for if you ever want to use it again. Uh, just attach that on to your backing, like so, and then you can wind it right on your reel. And then it's ready to go. It's going in the right direction. Okay? So now. I'm going to create a, um, a perfection loop in this. All right, guys. So there we go. There's a perfection loop. This is interesting stuff. I mean, it. It's kind of like mono. I wouldn't say it not as easy as mono. But that perfection loop seems pretty strong. All right. So like anything else, we're gonna basically do the loop to loop connection. That's why you want these uh, loops to your running line really long like this, so you can basically go over just about anything. There we go. It's got that kind of handshake kind of connection here. All right. Make another perfection loop. Yeah, see it has this little tag that says this end to reel. But it wasn't right at the end, so I was uh, questioning that. And then just grab the other end, run this all the way through. Boy, that really is a thick line. Dang. There we go, and there's that handshake connection. That's really pretty thin, and that's really all you're gonna do. You're gonna wind that up into the reel. If you go out on the river and you decide you need a six, you know, feet per second um, sink, then throw this one on, that type of thing. And I think you tie, you attach this end. 
like so. Really simple, guys. Look at how simple that is. And then, you know, if you want to trade this out, that's the nice thing about this. If you decide, hey, you know, I need to go not quite as fast, uh, you're like dragging the bottom, then literally this is what you do. You just pull that off, boom, take, take this one, you know, you can put this back in your bag, uh, wind it up really quick, just simple, like so. Throw that right back in your bag. Take this one and boom. Oh. Always the, the leader end, or not leader, the, the head end. You want to go through the other. So there we go, like that. And then you're done. And now you've got a slower sink. That's pretty cool, guys. Um, let's go ahead and wind this up and see how it sets on the, the reel. There we go. Kind of like that contrast of the, the pink and the light blue. I decided to go with the pink. They make an orange, they make a chartreuse, um, but there we go. Uh, that's pretty cool guys. So I'm really excited to try this out. I hear really good things about it Right here. You can see there's a lot of brush right behind me if I do any kind of back cast I'm gonna get in to this brush all the brush on the side and I can maybe get out a little past where that rock is so I don't have a whole lot of back cast I'm gonna give it a try and see if uh, If I can get out there far enough with this new line Well, I got the shooting head down. I'm almost hitting the uh, other side of the bank there. I don't know how well it's getting in the camera, but it's shooting well. So this is a great line. I like it. It does take some getting used to, but once you do, you're gonna be shooting further than you ever did, uh, really. I've never, with one back cast, I am doing a back cast. Right there, I had some back cast room. Um, yeah, I can. I can shoot probably a good, uh, you know, 100 feet or so, 80, 90, 100, somewhere around there. So, and if you guys have ever watched my channel, you know I'm not really the best, best caster. I, if you guys have trouble getting out there far with your streamers, big streamers, I mean, it's not light stuff I'm casting right now. I'm still getting way out there. Um, check this line out, OPST, Commando Head, uh, Skagit Line. There's a couple components more than just the commando head, so I will link everything in the description section. Uh, there's a few sellers on, on Amazon, but not all of them uh, offer free shipping, and not all of them are pretty quick on getting it to you. The one I found took about five days, and then I got it, which was nice. Um, some of them were like two weeks. So definitely check out the description section, guys because that's really where you're gonna find the best deal, in my opinion. Uh, I'll put a link there. If any of you have found better deals than, than that, let me know. But for now, that's, I mean, you know, go ahead and get it. It's a good line, takes a little getting used to. And really, you know, this is a six weight, but you can cast a five weight, three weight. I mean, they have different heads for different lines. As you can see, I'm not doing a double, I mean, it's a single hander. So any of your trout lines will, uh, trout rods will work uh, with this. Uh, you can even throw a three weight 
little seven foot three weight with this and it'll still do it. So um, it's a great line, I like it. Maybe not for every use, uh, but it definitely there's, there's times that this is gonna do you good, so.